the MAFS couples have just minutes to get to know their spouse-to-be. Elaine and Alan have had 30-odd years and at 90 are taking the plunge. Here comes the bride and groom. This special day is 35 years in the making. Did you get down on one knee to propose? Unfortunately, no, I, I, because uh, possibly I, I wouldn't be able to get up again. Mm. <laughs> Here at Aspendale Senior Citizen Centre, usually reserved for internet lessons and indoor bowls for the elderly, these 90-year-old lovebirds are about to say, I do. Are you feeling nervous? Not as yet, I'm just numb. The pre-wedding jitters hit Grandfather Alan York last night. He admits he didn't get a wink of sleep. His bride-to-be was a lot more cool and collected. Oh, I slept well. I asked Ruth, my daughter, to ring me if she would when she got up because she's a pretty good riser in the morning. You thought you might sleep through? Well, yes, we had no... I, I got two alarm clocks that I couldn't tell you where they are. <laughs> This cheeky great-grandmother of eight says the engagement was even a surprise to her. We were just in the shopping centre in uh -huh. Arcade and he saw this and I said, oh, that ring looks nice for that price. She said, oh, just down discounted me. So he said, that's our engagement. <laughs> What's taken so long? Um, only 32 years. Well, we did a lot of holiday trips and uh, we used to play tennis and table tennis several times a week. Did a lot of ballroom dancing. You were just too busy. At that time, yeah. Alan's mate, Ken Ellis, was there all those years ago when the pair first locked eyes at a dance. Was it love at first sight? Oh, yeah. Will Alan make a good husband? Yes. Why's that? Alan will make a good enemy. My philosophy is just be glad you've got a day when you wake up and enjoy it. And that's what they'll do in sickness and in health till death do them part. Alan, Walter York, do you take Elaine Merton to be your wedded wife? I do. Oh, you jumped the gun. You're very keen, aren't you? <laughs> I therefore have much pleasure in declaring Elaine and Alan and our husband and wife. Congratulations. They sell the marriage of a kid. It sort of completed our lives together and sort of made, made everything worthwhile. As Alan's daughter, how do you feel about today? Oh, I think it's wonderful. I think it's, it's uh, you know, overdue. <laughs> Do you think she, things will change now that they're married? Uh, While well, they're living together now. Does he do the dishes? Well, I prefer him not to. <laughs> Why is that? Because he doesn't do them well. It's just really beautiful that they get to spend the rest of their life together as husband and wife. Kicking off the party, showing they've still got the moves, Mr. and Mrs. York. The world is full of doom and gloom, and this, this is a great story. Something different. Doom me. Oh, what a lovely story. The couple haven't planned a honeymoon, they're busy moving into their new home.